Homer Grid's main value proposition is reducing utility charges by using solar and storage to shift and smooth peak utility usage to times when rates are lower. Demand charges are based on the maximum load, typically for just 15 minutes. Time of use rates provide less expensive electricity at certain times. Solar and storage together can reduce both these rates. In addition to reducing utility charges, Homer Grid can model EV charging infrastructure loads, design for resiliency during outages, and model combined heat and power. We explore those functions in other videos. This demonstration focuses on using Homer Grid for resiliency. Resiliency, the ability to provide power to critical loads during outages, is becoming a critical part of our electric power infrastructure. Extended power outages are both costly and dangerous. Using hybrid power that includes a combination of solar and storage along with backup generators can decrease energy costs overall. If you're new to Homer Grid, I recommend that you first watch the video on demand charge reduction where I walk more slowly through setting up a Homer project file. You can find that video on the Homer Grid webpage or at homerenergy.com slash dcr-demo. We're going to move through project setup quickly in this video so we can focus on the resiliency modeling capabilities. First, we'll set up the project basics. This example is a supermarket in Rancho Cucamonga, California, west of San Bernardino. This region has been experiencing extended power outages due to fires, and this is expected to continue. This facility needs to keep its refrigeration units running during an outage, at a minimum. I'll add a load profile using the OpenEI database. I select a supermarket in Chino, California. This is an average daily load of about 4,700 kilowatt hours and a peak of 364 kilowatts. I want to divide the load into critical and non-critical amounts in order to only serve the critical load during an outage. So I'm going to use Homer's ability to scale a load profile to change this load to about half this amount, 2,350 kilowatt hours per day. Now I need to set up the other half of the load as non-critical. And to do that, I go over here to the outages section and select non-critical load. I'll do the exact same thing that I did before. Select the supermarket load using OpenEI and then scale it to 2,350. I'm going to rename this load with NC in front so we know that it's the non-critical load. Let's set up the rest of the outages section while we're here. Homer Grid offers two types of outage modeling. Resilience, which allows you to model long but infrequent outages, and reliability, which are shorter outages that may occur multiple times in a given year. We're going to model resilience, and I'll set this up for outages that are five days long. I'll force those outages into the summer when our utility costs are the highest. The last setting I want to make around outages is to have the generator run only during outages. I am going to add a diesel gen set to this system, and I don't want it coming on during normal operation. So I'll click here on only during an outage. A few other things to point out here is that Homer gives you lots of control over your model. You can look at how your battery is operating. You might have a penalty for capacity shortage, i.e. not being able to serve your load, that represents a direct cost to your business due to the outage. You can also allow capacity shortages if those are acceptable. Now I'll add a utility tariff using the Genability database. This region is served by a municipal utility, the Rancho Cucamonga Muni, so I'm going to choose the Rancho Cucamonga Medium Commercial Tariff. This tariff has no code, so I'm going to change it to RC Muni. Let's take a look at the bill for this tariff. The demand charges are almost as high as the energy charges during the summer months. Let's add the equipment we want Homer to consider. We'll add PV up to the 500 kilowatts we can fit onto the roof, lithium-ion batteries, and a converter. 
Let's also add the solar resource using the NREL data. We need a gen set that will be available during outages. I'll have Homer model gen sets in 50 kilowatt increments up to the peak critical load of 183 kilowatts. Let's review the schematic. We have the two identical loads, both of which run during normal operation, and a non-critical load that will not run during outages. We have a generator, a utility, solar PV, lithium ion batteries, and a converter. Let's get the results. The hybrid system saves money over the utility alone. The winning system in this scenario is the utility with 150 kilowatt generator and 100 kilowatts of PV, no storage. The base case includes the generator, so we're comparing the cost of the system with PV versus one without. The PV allows us to have a smaller gen set by providing some of the power during outages. This system has an internal rate of return of 9% an ROI of 6%, and a simple payback period of 9.7 years. It's saving about $21,000 per year in utility bills while also serving during outages. Let's look at how the system managed resilience. The generator is running 24 hours per day during the outage and never during normal operation. The PV is producing midday as we'd expect. This system requires a big and expensive generator to support this large critical load that only happens five days a year. What if we decided that the true critical load was a lot smaller? To do this, I'm going to change the primary load to be only 850 kilowatts, and then I will add 1500 kilowatts to the non-critical load. So the load during normal operations is just the same, 4700 kilowatt hours per day, the sum of both loads, but the load served during the outage is much smaller. I also need to look at smaller gen sets because the peak critical load now is only 66 kilowatts. And then I'll recalculate the results. And this is a better result. The net present cost and the levelized cost of energy are lower than for the other system. And the winning system now includes storage and a much smaller generator. If we look at the details of the outages, we now have a smaller generator that's operating only 18 hours a day, not 24, and the battery is assisting. Before I finish, I want to point out that I could have used Homer's sensitivity analysis capabilities to accomplish some of these same things. For example, I could have looked at the impact of diesel cost on the outcome, or I could have split the critical and non-critical loads differently. I could have looked at different sizes of non-critical loads. Anytime that you see the double brackets next to an input, you can run a sensitivity analysis on that input. One of Homer's greatest strengths is its ability to provide an understanding of options as opposed to just giving a single answer. Thanks for watching this demonstration of how Homer Grid can optimize a hybrid power system to serve critical loads during extended outages while also saving on utility costs during normal operation. You can get a no obligation trial for Homer Grid by visiting homerenergy.com slash trygrid. I also hope you'll explore everything else that Homer Grid can do for you and stay in touch with us as you explore Homer Grid during the trial process.